Okay, let's move on with uh, limits involving infinity. So, ang first one natin dito is infinite limits. So, uh, definition, the limit in which the function increases or decreases without bound for x approaches a certain value c, symbolically, limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to infinity if it increases without bound or limit of f of x as x approaches c is equal to negative infinity decreases without bound. So, uh, let us try to uh, have this or consider this function. So, if we will try to get the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 2 minus and uh, limit of f of x as x approaches negative 2 plus. So, remember that's the left hand limit and the right hand limit. So, given the, the graph of this function, so as you can see coming from the right, so it increases without bound so therefore ang negative 2 plus is positive infinity and then yung 2 minus coming from the left it decreases without bound thus this is equal to negative infinity so since ang limit RSL is not equal to LSL so ang limit niya as x approaches negative 2 does not exist so, uh, meron akong tayong i-introduce na bagong definition. So, the definition of a vertical asymptote, if f of x approaches infinity or negative infinity, so whether it's positive infinity or negative infinity, as x approaches c from the right or from the left, then the line x is equal to c is the vertical asymptote of the graph. With this, since from the left is negative infinity, from the right is positive infinity, Therefore, x equals negative 2 is the vertical asymptote of this graph. So, as you can see here, that's why it need al yung para makuha yung vertical asymptote, ini equate ang natin siya sa 0. So, therefore, x is equal to negative 2 is the vertical asymptote of this function. So, because of that definition. So, let us try to consider another. Uh, example. So, evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches 1, where f of x is equal to 1 over the quantity x minus 1 raised to the second power. So, given the graph of f of x, so as you can see, it increases without bounds coming from the left and coming from the right. Therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is equal to positive infinity. Since both coming from the left and coming from the right are both positive infinity. So, limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is positive infinity. Diba? RSL is equal to LSL. So, limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is equal to positive infinity. So, we know that um, this uh, infinity now is a very, very large number. So, we are defining that uh, this infinity is a very large number. So, limit at, limits at infinity. So, ito naman yung kapag ka ang uh, value ng x approaches infinity. So, let f be a real valued function defined by some interval i is equal to a comma positive infinity. We say that the limit of f of x as x approaches positive infinity is L. This is denoted by limit of f of x as x approaches positive infinity is L. And kapag ka naman uh, nag approach ng negative infinity is equal to L, ito naman yung ating notation. So, kapag ka, uh, yung value natin ay ng x approaches sa nagdi-decrease na without bound. Kaya negative infinity. So, here are the theorems. So, for n is a set of natural numbers, if n is even, then the limit of x raised to n as x approaches plus or minus infinity will always be positive. So, we know that uh, kapag ka ang uh, number natin ni raise sa even, whether it's positive or negative, ni raise sa even exponent, it will always be positive. So, kapag ka add naman ang exponent natin, so, pag positive, positive, pag negative, negative. 
Also, limit of 1 over x raised to n is equal to 0. Whether it is odd or even, basta 1 divided by an infinity is equal to 0. So, for 2, limit, uh, let c be equal to a set of uh, real numbers, so any number yon. Suppose that limit of f of x is equal to c as x approaches positive infinity, and limit of g of x as x approaches positive infinity is plus or minus infinity, then limit of f of x, which is a constant, divided by plus, plus or minus infinity is equal to 0. So any constant divided by the very, very large number is equal to 0. And another definition here, the line y is equal to l. So yung nakuha natin value, y is equal to l, is the horizontal asymptote of the curve y is equal to f of x if either limit of f of x is equal to l as x approaches infinity or limit of f of x as x approaches l uh, as x approaches negative infinity is equal to l. So meaning to say yung makukuha nating value if 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 the 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 limit is defined at x uh, approaches in plus or minus infinity then that L represents the horizontal asymptote of the curve. So let's, let's try to have this uh, example. So for have, evaluate the limit of 2x minus 5 as x approaches infinity. So again, sabi datin doon, limit, this is 2 limit of x as x approaches infinity minus 5 or limit of 5 as x approaches infinity. So, we know that limit of a constant as x approaches any number is a constant. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng minus 5. And then, to the 1 ito, so positive or positive 1 or add ang exponent. So, this is 2 times infinity. And then, infinity minus 5 is still infinity. So, therefore, the answer there is infinity. So, Evaluate the limit of 2x minus 1 over infinity minus 2. So if we substitute infinity minus 1 is infinity and infinity minus 2 is infinity. Infinity divide infinity is not equal to 1 but indeterminate. So again, we never leave our answer in indeterminate form. So gagawa tayo ng way para makuha ang sagot nat na natin dito. So anong gagawin? Yeah, di divide lang natin lahat sa highest exponent or variable with highest exponent appearing in the given equation. So what we will do is divide all by x. So this is as x approaches infinity. So we divide natin yung numerator na 2x minus 1 by x or multiply all by 1 over x divided by x minus 1. Imo multiply ko din siya by 1 over x. So this gives us limit as x approaches infinity of 2 because 2x over x is 2 minus 1 over x all over 1 minus 1 over x. So this is limit of uh, pro, uh, quotient. So this is limit of 2 minus limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity, as x approaches infinity, all over limit of 1, as x approaches infinity, minus limit 1 over x, as x approaches infinity. The principle tayo kanina, that 1 over x to the n, as x approaches infinity, is always 0. This is zero. Limit of a constant, that's two. Limit of a constant, that's one. Therefore, the answer is two. So again, you just have to uh, divide all by the highest exponent or variable with highest exponent appearing in the given function. Or you can factor out yung pinakamataas na exponent. So let's try to solve this uh, gamit yung another method. So this time, we divide na, we will factor out natin both numerator and denominator yung highest exponent. So since x cube yung highest dito, x cube yung highest dito, we will factor out natin both.
both numerator and denominator yung x cube. So, this gives us x cube. We have 4 minus 3 over x plus 2 over x squared minus 1 over x cube. All over, factoring x cube out, we have x cube. x divided by the x squared, uh, x cube is 1 over x squared minus 2 over x cubed minus 5 minus 3 over x. But since x cubed is common to both, cancel that out. And then we will try to use the limit of a quotient and limit of sum. So that is limit of 4 as x approaches infinity minus 3 limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity because 3 is a constant I have to put that outside plus 2 is a constant I have to put that outside limit as x approaches infinity 1 over x squared minus limit of 1 over x cubed as x approaches infinity all over in denominator limit of uh, 1 over x squared as x approaches infinity minus 2 limit of f of x as x approaches limit of 1 over x cubed as x approaches infinity then minus limit of 5, that's a constant. As x approaches infinity, minus 3 is a constant that must be put outside. Limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity. Again, kapag ka may limit of 1 over x as x approaches infinity, that is 0. This 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 is 0. Limit of a constant, that's 4. Over limit of a constant, that's negative 5. Thus, the answer is negative 4 over 5. Sample number 4. We have limit of 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 over x minus 2 minus 5x cubed minus 3x squared as x approaches infinity. So again, we divide natin lahat by x cubed since x cubed is the highest exponent, the variable with highest exponent appearing. So this is limit as x approaches infinity. So divide both sides by 1 over x cubed. Divide both uh, numerator and denominator, I mean, with 1 over x cubed. So this is 3 over x plus 2 over x squared minus 1 over x cubed. So that is your numerator divided by your denominator. 1 over x squared, that's your first term, minus 2 over x cubed, so that's negative 2 over x cubed, minus 5, x cubed over x cubed is minus 5 na lang, minus 3 over x So again, pag sinabsitute natin yung infinity, so this is 0, this is 0, this is 0. This is 0, this is 0, this is 0. Tulad ng ginawa natin dito kanina. So matitira sa numerator ay 0 na lang. Ang matitira sa denominator ay negative 5. So thus, the answer is 0. Then last example, we have evaluate the limit of 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 all over 2 minus x plus 3x squared. So again, we divide natin all by x cubed. We divide natin all by x cubed. So para mas madali, pakita natin ang another method. That's 4x cubed over x cubed. All the terms must be divided by x cubed x squared over x cubed 
plus 2x over x cubed minus 1 over x cubed all over 2 over x cubed minus x over x cubed plus 3x squared over x cubed. Para mas ma-visualize yung nangyayari, pag minultiply natin itong 1 over x cubed sa numerator and 1 over x cubed sa denominator. So, that is the same as each term must be divided by the variable with highest exponent. So, this becomes limit as x approaches infinity of 4 minus 3 over x because x cubed divided x cubed is 4. x squared divided x cubed is x matitira sa baba plus 2 over x squared minus 1 over x cubed all over 2 over x cubed minus 1 over x squared plus 3 over x. So again, pag sinasitute natin yung infinity, so that's 0, that's 0, that's 0, that's 0, 0, 0. So this is 4 divided by 0 is equal to infinity or undefined. So in short, kung titignan natin lahat, 4 divided by negative 5. So titignan lang natin lahat ng uh, Pag nirearrange natin itong given, magiging negative 4x cubed. Sa baba, makikita ko ay positive 4x cubed. Sa baba ay negative 5x cubed. So, yung coefficient lang ng highest exponent appearing ang kukunin. Kaya negative 4 over 5. Dito, ang, ang uh, highest exponent appearing sa taas, sa baba, ay negative 3x squared. Ay negative 5x cubed x cubed sa taas ay 0. Kasi wala namang x cubed sa taas. So, 0 over negative 5 is 0. Dito, 2x minus 1 over x minus 2 yung given. So, yung highest exponent appearing natin ay 1. So, lahat ng coefficient ng may variable with highest ex uh, exponent appearing, that's 2. May 1 dyan na coefficient and that is equal to 2. That's the answer. So that is limits at infinity.